show. (laughs) It's March 2022, and we're on our way to... Lake Tawakini State Park. Which we've never been to before. But it is east of Dallas, and that's where the trees actually get, you know, kind of tallish. And uh, I know that we're in, I think it's the White Deer campground and if I'm wrong I'll correct that later Uh, but I do know that we're in campsite number 13. Well that's easy to remember we like number 13. And this is our what's become kind of our usual spring break camp out. We uh, spring break starts the Saturday that it starts we pack up and we head out to a state park. This is going to be the fourth time that we've done this. And it's almost always cold. And I think this is the first time we're going to have decent weather, knock on wood. Uh, Let's see, the first time we went to Fort Richardson, it was frigid. I rode your motorcycle. I rode the CTX there. Yeah. And then you and the kids were in the truck, and we were miserable. It was so cold, because we were in tents, and it was windy and just miserable. Nobody had a good time. And, I mean, when you can see the wind farm 100 yards away from the the campsite, you know that it's going to be windy. Yeah. And... It was really cold, and we were huddled around that fire so close just to try to stay warm that uh, everything that we had on us still smells like that campfire. Yeah. <laughs> That's a good way of describing how cold it was. We went on a short hike, but it just wasn't that much fun because it was so cold, you know? And so then that they, made it so the kids really didn't they, want to go spring to break anymore. Yeah. But they, they came with us again one more time. We went to Lake Mineral Wells. and I had a good time there at Lake Mineral Wells. Yeah, that was fun. And, um, but it was also cold. It was, and it got too cold for the kids and they bailed early. But we toughed it out. Mm-hmm. We, we shared our campsite with some deer. That was really neat. Um, yeah, they hung out with us a little you bit. You know, went by some of these rock climbing cliffs, and then we went on a nice long four mile hike to see the primitive campsites near an old military bombing range that was right next door to the state park. Yeah, that was interesting. I remember that now. These these campsites tend to blur, blur together for me, but uh, when you describe the details, that brings it back. And again, we were in tents, and I rode my uh, I rode the the Springfield there and you guys had the car again Mm -hmm. then the last time we tried to do a spring break camp out was two years ago when we went to Possum Kingdom Lake Mm -hmm. for the first time Mm -hmm. and again this time we only had one kid willing to go with us I I took the bike you guys took this car yeah still intense it was cold it was rainy it was miserable we were sitting in this car for uh, two hours with the heater on full blast to try to drive out, dry out my riding gloves so that we could head home. Right, I remember. And it's too bad because we had a really nice campsite, um, right? It was a pretty area, but it was just too cold to enjoy it. So uh, this spring break, we are going to Lake Tawakini. We have the teardrop, and it's sunny and 51 degrees right now. Yay! And it's supposed to be as high as mid 70s the entire time we're there so our plan of leave on saturday come back tuesday for you know a a four day three night camp out um might actually work and be pleasant this time around so uh we will fill you in on what it's like to camp out at lake tawakini and show you some of the road on the way there
Tawakini. Lake Tawakini, but it's deer something. Uh, white deer loop. White white deer something. <laughs> we forgot. But uh, this is the tent pad, which is great. It's huge. You could fit, you know, a couple of small tents or one very large tent here. Um, over here we have the picnic table that's for our youth. And this trail goes down to the pond or the lake. It's pretty small, but it's nice little short walk. Well, to I the think edge that's just an inlet. This lake is quite large. Okay, got it. Um, over here, come on, babe. Obviously, a, a big concrete pad. You could put an easy up here or another tent if you wanted to. Another table. Here's the fire pit. These are our chairs. Nice big um, driveway area. This is our car, obviously. Our teardrop camper and our solar panel. That's the hook that you're supposed to put your trash bag on and we've set up the dog stuff under that. And she wants to run around. <laughs> this is our dog. <laughs> Say hi, Fiona. One of the neat things that we get to experience uh, on, with this camp out for the first time since we've had this teardrop is we get to have a campfire. This park is not under a burn ban yet. So we brought firewood, we brought hot dogs, and we're going to roast some hot dogs for dinner. Well, day one of the camp out has started. Uh, we're here, it's now Sunday morning. It's probably a little in the low 40s, but it's supposed to get up into the 70s today. Um, day one, we didn't get much footage when, after we got here. We set up camp and then we just went for a walk to just kind of look around and we went over that way and got to the big part of the lake and the beach and the boat ramp and all that stuff. And there were a bunch of other people walking around and there were some other dogs walking around. And one of those other dogs got loose. The owner said it just jumped out of the window of their, their vehicle and came after us and bit our little dog. And so most of our evening was, well, all of our evening was spent taking care of her and getting her cleaned up and making sure she's okay. And uh, park police came by and took a report and gave us some like first aid treatment for, for our little dog and all that. And she spent the night with us in the camper and she seems to be a little better today. Uh, so we'll, we'll really hope that she's all right. If she's not, we may have to cut this thing short to get her taken care of. As uh, she just, uh, any of her uh, wounds looked very superficial. So um, we'll, we'll hope for the best. And, and uh, if it's looking like she's not her normal self, then we'll, uh, We'll probably leave early but if she's she's her normal self today then we'll be fine uh, meantime kind of getting up getting ready to have breakfast and uh, see what the day holds so this is white deer camping loop site 13 behind me you can kind of see the car and the camper through the trees and we're on our way to the white deer hiking trail uh, which is supposed to be four tenths of a mile and it's an easy trail it's nearby um, I'm trying to let Fiona walk around a little bit so that she feels a little bit better and she's kind of acting like her normal self she's favoring one leg but uh, the more she walks the more she uses it and is feeling better so we'll see what's up this is white deer trail we're gonna walk down this trail and maybe see some white deer or deer of any ethnicity we're we're not prejudiced We didn't see three. That means we were supposed to go the other way. Hercules Club. 
wrapping up our hike on the White Deer Trail and Fiona is ears up, tail up, all four feet on the ground, tongue out, prancing at her normal rate. Looks like she's her normal self. And as soon as I put the camera on her, her tail goes down. But anyway, yeah. Ears up and everything. Looks like all is well. And that is the end of our hike on day two. So we had to make an adjustment to the teardrop camper. There was uh, something that broke. So these neat little spring hinges, we've showed them to you before, were attached to a block here and a similar block on the other side. This one, I don't know if you can see, was kind of pulling free and it had made it so that the spring was no longer stable and it wouldn't lock in place so we couldn't make the camper uh, the galley lid stay up. Um, it had it had kind of been buffeted by some wind when we were at one of the campsites before. I think that's probably why it pulled free. But in any case, we took this off and attached it to the edge of the camper. And it had used four screws before and it only took two screws here and it's just as stable. Of course, we did have to do the other side so they would match. But it works just great now and I will show you. Pop one, pop two, close, and open it up again. Nice and stable. Excellent job, Luke. Hey, where are we? I think, I'm not sure, but I think we might be near the trailhead. This is the spring something loop. This sign up here is going to tell me and I'll know for sure. It's our second hike of the day for day two. Spring Point Branch Trail. That's where we are. And now we're actually on a hiking trail. fork tomorrow. Take this fork today and loop back around. Uh, there's a thing. It's a, the primitive group area for a camping. It's a really nice isolated spot. Big enough that you could bring your scout troop out here or as Luke says a particularly intense family reunion. Intense. I did the same thing. <laughs> Moving on. Not that you start with water. Not like period. Just like sunshine. On the water. Like John Denver sang about. Beautiful. Trail. Primitive camping. Lake through the trees. Kind of a wide road. Anything you want to add? I like this white sand trail. It's very smooth and soft and easy to traverse. Fiona says, sniff and prance. Thing. So that's going to be the end of our second hike for today. Now it's time to go back to the campsite and maybe cook up dinner. It is day three at Lake Tawakini State Park and we're going on hike number three of our stay here. Uh, kind of going on one of the trails that we did yesterday, only exploring a little more of it than we did before. Uh, Fiona's leg is feeling better. And uh, sun's starting to poke out. It's overcast this morning. We had to go on an adventure 
into a town about 15 miles away to get some fuel for our camp stove because <laughs> we basically had about what three minutes left of fuel so we can at least still cook our remaining meals for the first day but we're getting our hike in now and then we're gonna go back cook lunch and have a campfire because in about five hours there's a chance for strong to severe thorns <laughs> strong to severe thunderstorms uh, might roll through so we'll get the chance to see how the teardrop handles those uh, a little bit this evening And uh, so yeah, we're walking on this trail. We were on the same trail yesterday. This time we are going to take the longer fork, or the fork that takes you to the longer trail. Um, it's nice, it was a really nice hike yesterday. We enjoyed it, so this time we're doing the longer version. Yesterday we went that way. Today we're going this way. So, so the fork that we took, took us here, and we could see the big lake, and then that's as far as it goes. So we got like an extra 15 feet of hike. So this makes more sense. Spring Point Branch 2, and this way, we went this way yesterday, which is Spring Point Trail 5, but now we're gonna go this direction. This looks like a trail. So we could go that way. But Fiona wants to go this way, and now we're on Spring Point East Trail. So if you're taking your dog on a hiking trail, bring bags. Uh, a friend. Just in case we're fawning over, or would you say, don't. at the lake shore. And we're now on the part of the camping trail past the primitive, primitive camping area, primitive group camping area that we were on yesterday afternoon. So that's gonna wrap up hike number three. We got to see some deer. We got to see a massive lake shore and I think we're about ready to get run over by some mountain bikes. So um, back to the campsite for lunch and then hunker down before the storms. All right, well, it is day three. It is the evening of day three. And as you can see, we've kind of cleared our campsite, even though we're not leaving until morning. Had a small fire going to roast up a little bit of dinner. 
but we've got everything put away because there's a nasty storm coming through and I'll see if I can show you what the weather radar looks like right now see that's what it looks like that's uh, one of uh, the many apps that I follow um, get another one loaded here hang on yeah that's that's what's coming we're starting to get a couple of raindrops and we're probably gonna have to hunker down inside the camper here for an hour or more until the storm passes we put everything inside so that it stays dry hi Fiona she doesn't like rain but she's inside where it's dry and she's inside with her people yay how are you doing I'm good oh hello <laughs> so this is us in the camper it's just barely started to rain but we can hear it so now we're going to turn the light off we've got some snacks we've got, a, we've got drinks we're good here for a little bit still not raining too hard we can hear it a little bit of raindrops on the ground it's quite warm in the camper Losing daylight, but you can kind of hear some thunder in the distance. Oh, wait. Well, there's the heavy rain just started. Yeah. Picked up a little bit. So, how you doing? Good. It's kind of loud. It is a little bit. Oh, I just missed a nice lightning strike. Okay. So, there's the leak. I don't know where it's coming from, but I do know that there's a gap there when the galley is open. Mm -hmm. But I don't know where the water is coming from. I want to know as I'm sitting in a puddle of water. That's not good. Okay, so we got a leak there. Kind of, you can see that stream of water, that bead of water there. And down in here, we've got some water coming in. It looks like it's leaking from the galley. Um, then we've got this big stream here. Doors are kind of okay, and that was not quite empty, but that's uh, all right. right yep. Okay, well, might be time to rethink things. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, the problem is if we stay in here, we're gonna get wet. Mm -hmm. Everything that's in here is gonna get wet anyway, but. Yeah. Maybe we should relocate ourselves to the car. And we probably don't want to sleep here tonight if everything in it is going to be wet. Well, here we are in the car. <laughs> yeah, the... The camper's just got leaks from... I think it's the weather stripping in the ga in the galley. Yeah. And uh, there's one spot on the, on the side, on my side, where it's dripping in a little bit. In the wall. Yeah. In the wall. Uh, the weather stripping in the galley is probably the easiest, but now our mattress is very wet. Yeah. Our sleeping bags are very wet. All our towels are wet. All our towels are wet, and our electrical line is kind of wet, so uh, we're done. Um, yeah. We're going to hook up the camper, and we're going to head home, and I'm going to uh, hook it up in the rain. So there we go. Yay. We're going to record our final thoughts here in the car as we're making our getaway. Well, you know, we love the camper. It, it keeps us snug and warm in the cold, but it does not keep the rain out. So, so we really can't stay here with everything wet. Even if it stopped raining right now, it wouldn't help because everything's wet. And it's been getting chilly at night, so. Yeah. And this storm's coming with a cold front, so. And we couldn't use the heater or the electric blanket. It would be miserable. Yeah. We, so, we uh, gotta go home. Wah, wah. Another spring break camp out cut short. <laughs>
But uh, more content coming. So yeah. stay there's tuned. That. <laughs>